Welcome to another Halloween drawing video. Today we're going to be drawing a request from a viewer. The Tails doll. This is a character from a game called Sonic R. And he's not meant to be creepy, but a lot of fans were quite creeped out by him. And he's the perfect character to add to our Halloween drawing collection. Without further ado, let's draw Tails Doll. So the Tails Doll first appeared in 1997 in the game Sonic R, which was a racing game that was released for the Sega Saturn. The Tails Doll can be unlocked in this game on the Radical City course. As I said before, he's not meant to be a creepy character, but many people found him to be creepy. I think just people find dolls creepy in general. Starting around 2007, people started to share their horror stories surrounding the Tails doll online. But from 2009 and onward, the scary stories started to pick up, and the Tails doll quickly became known as a creepy character that would haunt people who played the game. It was basically the digital equivalent of telling scary stories around the campfire. These stories became so popular that Sega themselves kind of addressed them in the game LEGO Dimensions, where one of the Ghost Hunter characters wants to find the Tails doll and study him. So, the Tails doll is one of those strange cases where a kind of regular character gets turned into something really unique by the fans. Alright, now we're going to add some color in our painting software. This is actually the second Sonic character that we've drawn on the channel, Sonic himself being the first one. When drawing and coloring this character, I decided to combine some of the in-game characteristics and some of the fan-made creepy characteristics into one. One thing that's a little bit different about him, that's a small detail, but it's one that does make a bit of a difference, is that I actually didn't put highlights in his eyes, because I think that makes his eyes look a little bit more dead and creepier. <laughs> One thing too that has been depicted in different ways is that little thing on his head. Uh, sometimes it's been shown as an emerald, which that version might be canon, but some sources also show it as just a ball. I guess it's hard to tell in the game since it is very low poly. For this one, I decided to go for the ball shaped antenna look. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's drawing video, and for my own safety, I am going to dispose of this drawing because I think it might be haunted. As always guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, and if you're new here, we want to welcome you to the channel. If you want to see more content like this, consider giving our channel a subscribe. And I want to give a big thank you to each and every one of our patrons who have made this video possible. We want to thank you so much for your support. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can visit the link down below for more information. I hope you all have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>